today we'll learn about fractions and the parts of a fraction. We'll do shaded and unshaded fraction as well. So let's begin. Fractions. Fraction defines a part of a whole. A fraction can be a portion or a section of any quantity out of a whole. So it's just a portion or a section of a whole part. Like, for example, we have pizza here. And this slice, if I'm going to eat, this is a portion of this whole pizza. So fraction is a part of whole. It means this whole pizza and this slice is a part of this. And this we can write as fraction. So a fraction can be a portion or a section of any quantity out of whole where whole can be any number, specific value or a thing like pizza. For example, a pizza that is divided into eight equal parts. So you can count this pizza is divided into eight equal parts. And if we want to express one selected part of the pizza out of eight parts, so I have selected this one part from this. I want to eat this and it can be expressed as one eighth. This is one part of the eight total parts. So this is one eighth and it is written like one by eight or we can say one divided by eight or one upon eight. Now let's learn about the parts of the fraction. First part is numerator. It is the upper part of the fraction that represents the sections of the fraction. That whatever the sections the fraction is divided or whatever the part is shaded, that tells us the numerator. So you just remember numerator is the upper part of the fraction. Denominator is the lower or the bottom part that represents total parts of the fraction. So denominator means down part. So remember with the denominator down, that is bottom or the lower part of the fraction. And denominator tells us the total number of parts. Now fraction bar. Fraction bar is the line that is drawn to separate the numerator and the denominator. And we'll see the fraction bar as well. Now, let's see an example. This is 2 by 3. So, here 2 represents that is the upper part of the fraction is the numerator. The lower part is the denominator. And this line, this bar is the fraction bar. So, these are the parts of the fraction. Upper one is numerator. The line is fraction bar and the denominator is the down part. That is the lower or the bottom part. Now fractions in our real life. When we divide a cake into three equal parts, then each part is one third of the whole. So if it is divided into three parts and I'm going to eat one of its part, it will be one third. So this is first one is numerator. This is the line that is fraction bar. And this is the denominator. 3 is the denominator here. Another example, we represent the scores of test as fraction. Like if you score 100 out of 100. 100 numerator, 100 denominator, fraction bar. Here also 15 out of 20. So 20 is the denominator, 15 is the numerator. The first one is the numerator. This is fraction bar. Numerator, fraction bar, denominator. So he scored, somebody scored like 20 or 7 out of 20. We use fractions while use, we use different recipes. Like when we say half tablespoon of sugar, three by four tablespoon of salt, for that also we use fractions. So we are using fraction in many ways. Now we'll learn the shaded and unshaded fractions. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, kindly subscribe. Okay, now let's learn shaded and unshaded. We have this figure here. So we need to find the shaded fraction. So it's clear from the name. We have to find the shaded fraction. It means the numerator will be the shaded part. So shaded is 1, 2, 3, 4. So four parts are shaded. And denominator is always the total. So the shaded part upon the total number of parts. So shaded is 4. That is 4 divided by. And total number of parts are 6. 4 divided by 6. Now we'll write unshaded fraction. Unshaded means in numerator we'll write unshaded. They are only two and the total is six again. Denominator is same because the total will be 
in the denominator and it will remain same. But the shaded were 4 and the unshaded fraction we are going to write, it's 2. So 2 by 6 is our unshaded fraction. Let's see some more shaded fractions. So here you can see an example. This is whole. The full is shaded. So if I'll divide into two equal parts, so denominator is the total number of parts. They are two and the shaded is one part. Now here, the circle is divided into four parts. One, two, three, four. You can see the denominator is four here. The down one. So total parts four and one is shaded one by four. Here you can see total parts four and three out of four is shaded. So the shaded is three and total is four. So we always write denominator as the total parts and the numerator as the shaded or the whatever the required question is, that is our numerator. Now it's your time to do some workout. Answer the question in the comment section. I'll check your answer later. So the question is, what is the name of the upper part of the fraction? Write down, we have already done the name of the upper part of the fraction. And I'll check your answer in the comment section later. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like and don't forget to hit the bell icon for our upcoming videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.